Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella.